And in Ukraine, a shelling on a bakery in an, un, in an occupied Russian city left 28 people dead this weekend. It marks the latest chapter in long-range attacks and comes as Congress grapples with providing Ukraine additional aid. Scripps News correspondent Meg Hilling has the latest. Rescue crews combed through the bombed ruins of a bakery in Russian-occupied Ukraine, where at least 28 people have been killed during shelling in the city of Lysychansk Saturday. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to save 28 people, including a pregnant woman and her five-year-old child. The deadly strike marks the latest chapter of long-range attacks being carried out by both Ukraine and Russia in recent months, and comes just days after the head of Ukrainian Defense Intelligence stressed the need for additional aid. Shells are one of the most decisive factors in this war. It's about quantity, not so much the quality as the quantity. The United States Congress has been grappling with whether or not to provide additional aid to Ukraine, with the House opting on Sunday to move forward with a $17.6 billion bill that provides military aid to Israel and replenishes U.S. weapons but leaves out Ukraine. The Senate, however, is slated to vote on a national security package on Wednesday that would send wartime aid to Ukraine, Israel and other allies, a move both Republicans and Democrats say is very much needed. There's no sure path to dividing America from our closest allies than by shredding our capability, credibility and abandoning Ukraine. While we're respectful of member schedules and try to limit inconveniences, these challenges at the border and in Ukraine and the Middle East are just too great and we will need to be here working. The Senate's push to provide aid to Ukraine comes just days after the European Union signed a deal that will provide roughly $54 billion in aid to Ukraine, which will be paid out over the course of four years to help Ukraine stabilize its economy, assist in rebuilding efforts, and to position it for future European Union membership. I think we have proven today by these 50 billion euros uh, that we stand by Ukraine. Um, and I think it will be an encouragement for the United States also to do, to do their fair share. Meg Hilling, Scripps News.